beautiful souls. Welcome to this energy update video for November 2023. My name is Ona Christie. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing some downloads and insights about the energies of November 2023. We're going to start with some of the astrological events and downloads around those. Um, I'm going to share an Akashic message for November 2023. And then we'll pull a few cards from my Spirit Animal Awareness deck with the intention of supporting us through this month all right so beginning in like the beginning of november one thing i want to do is back up a little bit and take a little bit bigger picture and look at the period of time that we're just exiting or if you're watching this video we're still going to be in it and that's the eclipse season of late the second half of, no of October 2023 um, in November we're just going to come out of this really really powerful period of time of these eclipses and there's something very very transformational about this eclipse period I um, did just post a video about that so if you'd like to go review that um, it might be helpful in understanding the energies of November as well um, but in short, eclipses have a lot to do with uh, concealment and revealment, and it just feels like there's been a lot of kind of suppressed energy, not just over this eclipse season, but throughout the past, oh, say about six months or so, uh, six or seven months, it, it just feels like there's been a lot of energy on hold. And coming into November, it feels like there's a lot that will have been uh, integrated or uh, kind of worked through. And November begins a brand new cycle in a lot of ways that is going to help to accelerate what's going on in the world. And for good or bad or indifferent, right, um, we've got a lot going on in the world. And it really feels to me like things are going to really start ramping up um, either right now in November or as seeds being sown in November for things to really ramp up later in the year or next year. Um, like we all know, there's a lot going on in world events, um, and we can probably expect to see that escalate, but also within ourselves. And and it's really, really important because we're, we're going to be, we are being inundated with a lot of kind of disturbing negative news and so forth. But it's really important to remember the law of polarity is that everything comes in in twos, right? And, and so even though there's a lot of attention being focused on the negative polarity right now of what's going on in the world, it's really important to remember that there is also a positive polarity that's going on. And I feel like a lot of us can really tap into that. You may be starting to feel this um, accelerated sense of purpose. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of that from lightworkers and star seeds. this feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm finally, things are coming together. I'm finally really realizing my purpose or ready to step in my purpose, or I'm feeling the sense of things are going to start to really move for me. And I feel like that is, um, you know, there's, there's a, a, a certain <laughs> a group of people here on the planet right now that that is really going to be true starting here in November um, that things are going to accelerate in a very exciting way right in a good way um, this could be just coming a, a lot more clear with your your spiritual understanding um, more clear on your purpose if you have um, life's work that may start to really accelerate if you're in business that may start to pick up um, this is just my gut feeling that's going to start in November and just keep accelerating um, as we move into 2024. Okay, so let's take a few, um, a glimpse at a few things in November 2023 uh, astrologically. Um, uh, of course, I just mentioned we're leaving the eclipse window and also the sun just moved into Scorpio. Okay, so Scorpio, of course, is this sign of 
kind of going into the depths, right? Uh, the Scorpio themes include like death, uh, the deep unconscious, sexuality, the shadow, right? Power and transformation. So anything that you've been working through with the, the, the eclipse season, um, the beginning part of November, you may be continuing to kind of work through those things. Although it feels to me like, anything that was kind of on hold over the eclipse season may actually break through, right? Um, as we move through Scorpio season. This is also a really uh, opportune time for shadow work, okay? The Scorpio, amongst other things, is the ruler of death, right? And and But it's really important to remember that death in in cosmic terms is is not an ending it's part of the cycle okay and it's a prerequisite for resurrection you can't have resurrection without death and and this time of year has always been and thinking just about every culture associated with death and the death process also connecting with ancestors so um wonderful wonderful month right now to connect with the de departed or to honor them or to reach out to you know your ancestors or any um, departed people in your life and really uh, connect with them in your heart you can ask them you know we're here as souls right on the earth but you know these people do not leave us once they pass over to the other side in fact in some ways they can often help us more from the other side because they are in the state of oneness right and can you know help us to resolve things or even work with us to help resolve things that they couldn't resolve on that other side so there's a lot to that working with the ancestors um, but this is a really beautiful month to do that just make sure that you pull your your spiritual protection around you if you do decide to do that kind of work um, that's that's really important in fact spiritual protection right now is is really well advised on all fronts um a few ways to do that is again calling in your your spirit team around you uh, creating shields or bubbles of protection and also just working on your light coming into the heart space more and really working on raising your own vibration is one of the best ways to to help to deflect anything out there that wants to cling or to um, grab onto your field okay so um Moving on to another couple of astrological events in November 2023. Um, on November 4th, the planet Saturn goes direct in the sign of Pisces. And I really want to mention this because Saturn is kind of like Scorpio. It has a lot to do with the shadow. I think of it as a teacher planet. Um, and it can be, you know, it can teach in ways that are uh, like the shadow coming forward is a, a means of teaching, right? Because it shows us where the light is not okay and here as it, it it's been in retrograde for a while but now it's going direct which means that saturn like my interpretation of it is that saturn may be really showing up in the areas that pisces is connected with and that is a deep spirituality um it's the dreams our dreams right and our uh, even hopes and aspirations, it's uh, creativity, and on the shadow side, it can be kind of getting lost in illusion, right, or or falling into addictions. So Saturn going direct here, um, on the one hand, if you are not willing to stand up and take responsibility for yourself, it, it, it can kind of create situations where you might be falling into addictions or falling into kind of overly dreaminess. Um, but what that really is, is a uh, an encouragement to wake up, right? And to step up and take responsibility. So um, when Pisces is able to overcome the sense of kind of wanting to just not have much framework when Pisces is able to to stand up and start taking responsibility it's a super powerful sign for accessing your intuition for um allowing yourself to get into the flow um it could be a really creative sign so this is just something to watch for any tendencies to 
uh, kind of be lackluster or to just not want to direct things or, or not to want to take responsibility. So just kind of, especially if you're a Pisces or if you have a lot of mutable signs in your chart, just kind of keep in mind that structure isn't always confining. Sometimes structure is what we need in order for us to bloom. Okay, I love the analogy of the rose bush and the trellis. In order for the rose to really climb and bloom, it needs that structure, that trellis. And that's what Saturn can sometimes help us with is to show us where we need a little more um, structure. Um, moving forward in November, we'll have the 1111 portal, um, and I, that could usher in a whole new wave of awakenings. And just watch for a video, because I think I probably will um, record a video about the 1111 portal, um, but I haven't really looked into that yet. So from the 1111, we go on to November 22nd, which is sort of a harmonic of the 11-11, and that's when Sun enters Sagittarius also on that date. Latter part of November, um, we are likely will have moved completely out of that shadow of the eclipse, and we're also entering into the more energized fire sign of Sagittarius. So here's where things may really start to pick up. We'll also have a full moon in Gemini on November 27th. So things could feel very animated. Um, it, it, that could feel like a kind of party central. Of course, we're also going into the, into the holidays, um, but it, it can also maybe an accelerated time of connecting or of communication. Um, it, it might feel a little scattered though too. So back to that structure. Right. Okay. So um, I did consult my inner guidance, my Akashic guides, asking for a message for November 2023 to assist all of us here in the collective in stepping onto our highest timeline in this month. And here is the message. I'm just going to read it to you. They said, Quill your fear, eliminate distraction. The shift is accelerating. Each human being has a role to play. Be aware of what is going on around you, but do not get caught up in it. You are responsible for your own actions. Your actions stem from the vibration you hold. Mind your vibration. Your first and most important duty is to maintain coherence in your field. Be deliberate. Prioritize your actions, take one thing at a time, and do not try to be everything to everyone. Your soul knows its purpose. If you are not yet aware of it, then get quiet and ask. Come to stillness and listen. The truth shall be revealed to you. Okay, so here again, it's sort of a, a an encouragement to step back and create structure for yourself, right? Um, and to be very aware and clear about why you're here. And also, I, I love that ending. If you're not aware of your purpose, get quiet and ask. Your soul knows exactly why you're here, right? And so um, if you're still unclear on your purpose, don't worry about it, right? <laughs> Just know that your soul knows and that all you really have to do is get quiet and even if you, you, you're you still not clear on your purpose, just ask what your next steps are for your highest good, right? And you'll be shown. And eventually that will show you the way to your purpose. If you're already very clear on your purpose, uh, again, we can just ask for next steps and just, you know, make sure that we're really focused on what we're doing. There are so many distractions out there um, that it's really, really easy to get pulled one way or the other, especially with all the emotional issues going on. I kind of feel like part of this message that came through was like, almost put the blinders on, right? Um, because there's only so much that we can do, but we're going to be most effective doing what our soul is calling us to do one thing at a time, right? Rather than expending a lot of energy on things that we can't really do a whole lot directly to help just by holding a higher vibration and maintaining our vibration maintaining the self-care
so that we can can hold a higher vibration of who we are that's going to be the best thing that we can do to help all situations out there okay and and so let's end this video with a reading i am um, going to be using my spirit animal awareness deck and i will be pulling i don't know probably be one between one and three cards just to support us in accessing our highest truth and speaking our truth and maintaining a high vibration throughout this month of November 2023. The first card that's coming up is Ferret. And um, Ferret is a real warrior animal. This is a black-footed ferret, and they, they um, have been considered an endangered animal, but they're really still hanging in there. And uh, Ferret is a great animal for Scorpio season, right? Because they're the ones that really, they go down into the depths, into the earth, into the burrows, and they are not afraid to go out and just dig things out, to ferret out, right? So a great time for doing shadow work right now, especially as it's Scorpio season, um, and do it fearlessly. Remember the first words of that Akashic message, quell your fear. There's nothing to be afraid of, okay? Because we are eternal immortal souls within a mortal body, and just keep that in mind. We are divine beings. And when we really connect with that divine part of ourselves, right, and then we can go after and really go after the truth, right? Really go after the truth. So um, positive attitude is one of the attributes of ferret um, and confidence and also energy clearing is one of the key words. So uh, Keep tabs on your own vibration anywhere where you feel your vibration is wavering or a little low. Go in there and bring in the light in whatever way. If you're not sure how to do it, go within and ask, and you'll be shown the next steps to do that. Um, shadow side of ferret is that it can be kind of devious or posturing or... Um, kind of a manipulative or sneaky kind of character. So we want to be sure that we stay in the truth, right? And um, if you hear rumors about anything or anybody, really take them with a grain of salt, right? Don't go repeating information that you've heard unless you've really, really checked, uh, checked on it. And one one way to, to to check on things is to go outside your normal news sources and look for news sources that, you know, whatever opposite camp that you, that you don't hang out with, see what they're saying about it, because you're going to get a totally different perspective, and it can really help to um, clarify things or to reveal untruths. Okay, so um, I'm going to pick uh, probably another couple cards. I've got two of them here. Um, the first one's bear. I love this one. A bear has been coming for, forward a lot for the past few months. Um, strength, power, you know, confidence. And it's also a really healing animal. And again, this is an animal that really pays attention to its own internal cycles and rhythms, right? So really, uh, one of the things I'm getting about this month is to really listen listen to your own body, listen to the things kind of that are spoken between the words, right? Um, tune into people's body language or the tone of their voice more so than the words that they may be speaking. And you might be surprised some of the most confident seeming people actually may have a lot of fear. That's a way, one way that you can discern if somebody's actually speaking from a place of fear or if they're actually speaking from a place of truth. So um, pay attention to those little things in between. And then one more card um, coming up for November 2023, the card is dog. Okay, and um, dog is wonderful. I have a friend that I was just speaking to, to today and she showed me this little oracle card that she created um, from her little Yorkshire Terrier and it was fun and focused. And dog is one of the most focused animals that there is <laughs> often, even, you know, despite the squirrel, right? Um, you, you know that when, like, this dog look look at the focus look on his face somebody probably threw just threw a tennis ball <laughs> and he's like whoa look at that um 
but they they are so focused on you, right? If you've ever had a dog, you know that they'll they'll sit there and they'll they'll kind of focus on you just so strongly because they've got such love and devotion. So the the message here from dog is like, what is it that you love? What are you devoted to? Really focus on that and give it your all give it your heart, give it everything you have, and you're going to be on track for this month. Okay, so um, big themes for this month, and I want to invite you to really get into your heart, listen to it, and if you've enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and share it because there might be something in here that really resonates with somebody and helps them through this month and beyond. So thanks so much for listening. Love you to pieces. And remember, you were born to be free.